Hey everyone, I'm Cosmic, and welcome to the cloud. This is Splatoon 3 single player, Return of the Mammalians. Sorry if my voice sounds a little dead, I'm recording this right after uh, Riptide, which is the Splatoon and Smash convention I went to, um, but I'm just really dying to play the story mode, and honestly, I've already been spoiled for some pretty major things, which really sucks, but um, it's still gonna be really exciting. I won't mention any spoilers until like we get to that point. I might say like, oh yeah, I knew that was gonna happen after it happens, but um, I'm just really excited. I haven't seen like any actual gameplay so um i am so ready to get into it so i hope you guys are excited so if we look right over here at one mr craig cuttlefish it will lead us straight to the newest single player campaign in the splatoon series i had to hold down the button oh 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 there's gonna be actual cutscenes right okay right so we're in the crater oh we're just we're just straight into it okay hello yeah, what's up? Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, we're doing direct direct callback to Splatoon 1, okay. The Octarians are coming. Again! <laughs> oh, hi. Did we do this once before? The old noggin ain't what it used to be. Anyhow, the name's Cuttlefish. Senior advisor to the new Squid Beak Splatoon at your service. Okay, not captain. That look in your eye. It's the look I've been looking for. The great zapfish that powers Splatsville has been squidnapped. Oh, right, so when... Yeah, when you start the game, it actually says the great zapfish has been captured again. I can't believe they're still doing that. I don't know why that would even matter this time. Seems like there's other problems to worry about, but whatever. Oh. The newspaper. Yo, there's actual cutscenes, dude. There's actual. I'm so. I'm just so excited for every single part of this. It's the Octarians again. You can bet your bottom sand dollar on it. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Octo expansion had cool cutscenes, but like this is the most in-depth intro we've ever gotten so far. So, just everything is such an upgrade. It's amazing. See, the great zapfish has gone missing before, twice in fact, and those octo jerks were behind it both times. I've been keeping an eye on them, even though I'm technically retired. And with eyes like these, there ain't much that escapes me. But they still made off with the great zapfish, and I. We've got to get it back, right? <laughs> so, uh... That was a job offer, kid. The pay is zero, <laughs> but you might just save the world. You're in, right? Right? Of course you are. Starting today, you're Agent 3 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon. Oh yeah, it's weird that it's Agent 3 and not like Agent 5, but whatever. This is your brand new hero suit. It'll help you fight the actors. Oh, the little buddy. Oh, the little buddy. If you saw my VOD of my test fire stream, I have named him Carlos. I'm gonna go with this one, I think. I will name him Carlos. He is my small fry, and he is my little buddy. Me and Carlos are going to save the world. Huh, is there such a thing as something growing in the wash? It's a little baggy on you. Funny, I don't remember ever watching it. Oh. <laughs> the last stage in 3 is clean as a catfish. Wait, is that a good or bad thing? Because they used to say Agent 3 was smelly. Oh, hello. Hello, Carlos. Oh. <laughs> oh, but it's a salty little scamp, ain't it? It'll do fine. Oh my god. I love the animation so much. Now, where was I? Oh, right. Let's go get those Octodricks. I'm counting on you, bucko. The crater. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh, little buddy. Oh. Oh, you can throw him. Oh, it's like, this is weird. Yo. Oh. This gun is interesting. It's like a long range junior. I guess it's kind of like an arrow spray, but like... Maybe a little, like, nerfed. Oh, that's the, that's the Agent 3 picture! Take a gander at that, it's a portrait of the new Squid Beak Splatoon's captain. Not a bad likeness, eh? Oh, right, because this is, um, I think it transfers one, what you did in Octo Expansion, if you have Splatoon 2 data. The captain was Agent 3 before you were Agent 3. Agent 3? <laughs> Nothing complicated about it. Okay, at least they know, I guess. You know about the captain, right? Of course. I assume this is me deciding whether or not to customize them again, and I'm just gonna leave them the same. I, I want it to be like my male Agent 3, so yeah, I'll leave that. I knew it. The captain's a real celebrity. You know, I used to be captain, right? <laughs> ah, never mind that. But how's that likeness looking? Um, I'm pretty sure it's exactly what I want. I'll leave it. It's a masterpiece. Thanks for the input, kiddo. Let me know when you want me to immortalize you. Oh, I love this weird music. Wait, so if I touch this, do I get like, do I get fuzzed? Oh, oh, yes I do. Oh, wait, what happens? Do I just die? Okay, yeah. You gotta be more careful than that, okay. Uh, can I, I know I little buddy can like eat it. Oh, okay, there's like a weird effect for it. Oh, oh, I can shoot you. What's up? You eating well these days? Don't go into battle hunger, you hear? It's nice that you got your little buddy with you throughout all this. When all this is over, maybe we ought to think about some security for the Great Savage. Yeah, wow, maybe. Okay, let's get into it. 
Find the fuzzy ooze that's over the place. Okay. Instant full body beard, whether you want it or not. Is this a checkpoint or a... Is this like a view thing? Oh. Okay, now that is one big pile of fuzzy ooze. That big old bubble on top is probably the fuzz ball. I mean, okay, you gotta pop it. So that's the little buddy thing? Oh. This is cool. We all like- Oh, this is just like the Mario 3D World binocular. Or in Mario Odyssey had it too, I guess. Okay. Cool. Oh. That kettle ought to take us right to him. Oh. So this is the first level? <laughs> Octane's in the crater? Yikes. Okay. Well, I guess here we go. Still got kettles. They look a lot cooler. Oh, oh, I like that animation. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I like this. Oh, it's just like all the CRTs. Bro, this is really a new Splatoon campaign. All oh, right, you have Splashdown in single player. That's weird. Oh, I love how weird this music is. We still got that hero mode motif. Wait, whoa. Oh, little buddy can do it. Oh, he takes a long time to pop a balloon. Oh, okay, I can throw him at the crate. Okay. That's cool. I mean, it's kind of just how bombs work before, I guess, but now it is a character. Hello, Carlos. I like the way he bounces. So if I swim far enough away, does he just teleport? Yeah. Cool. What if I get him to do it? Okay, I don't think he does that. I guess he can't do any things. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, the, the little reticle just means I can use little buddy on it. Oh, I guess he can rake stuff faster. Oh, the armor. That looks cool. It's orange. This is probably the weirdest version of like the default beginning song. And this might be the weirdest story based on some of the theming. So that might make sense. Um, I don't know if there's stuff. Oh, I actually locked my camera. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, wow. That They really just let you mess around with the mechanics before they even throw an enemy at you. I mean, I guess they're introducing little buddy. So that makes sense. Octo Trooper ahead. It's a real live enemy. Gary just splat it with ZR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was splatastic. Do we know why Captain Kettlefish is in the crater though? Oh. Oh, there's like sunken boats and stuff down there. And like cars and stuff, like all the other stuff that was in the desert. So this isn't, oh. Okay, yeah, this isn't even like an Octarian dome. This is literally just a giant hole in the ground. Okay, we're just in the crater. All right. What does this look like? Oh. <laughs> That's cool. I'm into this. I mean, that was extremely basic so far, but like, I, I'm very, very excited for more. Well done, Agent 3. You remind me of a young cuttlefish, heroically saving the day. Anyway, the good news is you got a zapfish. They're a source of energy on their own. But the better news is that the great zapfish may be up ahead. Okay. Oh, you get eggs just for beating the level. Interesting. All right. And you just actually like follow me around now. You can't spell win without any. You can't spell... Ink without in? Is that what he said? I don't know. The, the text goes away very fast. Alright, I plum forgot about all this fuzzy use. That blasted fuzzball is just wobbling back and forth taunting us. Yeah, I don't like that it like pulsates. Is that your small fry buddy tripping about something? No, the species is rumored to have a big reaction to power eggs. Anything's worth a shot, right? Try pressing R to power up your- oh, so it's like a special. Okay. Oh, so yeah, cost power eggs to progress. Oh, okay. That's neat. And then it's like Breath of the Wild Malice, basically. It gobbled up the ooze like it was nothing. That little monster has quite an appetite. It is cool that Splatoon, like, as a new IP, has the benefit of, like, you know, like, that's totally, like, Malice from Breath of the Wild. You, you break the ball and the big obstacle disappears, and this is, like, the thing from Mario. Like, it can just, like, pull mechanics from wherever it wants to create something new out of it, which is, like, it's honestly really sick. Do I actually have to make, like, a choice here, or is this just, like... Um, okay, yeah, no, I pretty much just have to do this order, I think. Okay. Oh? What is this? A little bit he's trying to get your attention again. Oh. Yo? Oh, I got a thing for a locker. Okay. That's cool. Looks like you found a loot anchor. Okay, the animation on that was really cool. It's all like glitchy and stuff. Okay. Um. Oh, well, I guess. I like that you just break the kettles open now instead of like revealing them. Sink into the ink and swim. We got some very literal level titles this time around. I don't know if these are just like the tutorial ones. Also, wait, yeah, that was so short. I guess they're they're breaking them up really 
small kind of like Octo expansion? I know there's some Octo expansion stuff with like the levels. Okay. Okay, there's a UFO. Interesting. Oh, this looks really cool. Yo. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I love the way this looks, actually. So can I like... How does this work with... Why are the targets... I thought the targets... Oh, you can say this way to summon your little buddy. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's cool. I'm confused what the little reticle is for, because I figured little buddy would have gotten those. I guess he can, but he only gets one. I didn't know if he would like target all of them because they were all lit up. I mean, it's still very linear, but like it feels a little bit more open. And it's maybe giving me hope for some larger levels later on, but I don't know. I know there's not like giant exploration things, but like it'd be cool if there was a little bit more in the exploration department. Speaking of which, there's a lot of enemy ink here. I don't know if this is just an obstacle. I don't know if there are actually secrets in this, uh, in like these, but I guess I'm getting... I only have one power egg. Do you always only get one power egg for cutting those? Oh, nice. The movement feels like tighter somehow. Like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Whoa. Oh, you can just throw a little buddy at the force field to break it. Okay. Nicely done, Agent 3. But did those Arctarians look different? They used to be a little more smooth, if memory serves. Hey, I ain't one to judge a deadly tentacle creature by its cover. More power to him. Uh, but not really. <laughs> Anyhow, as long as you spawn that hero suit, you can stand up to any Octarian, bearded or not. Did you even read the label? Here, I'll do it for you. You're wearing the latest in apocalyptic survival fashion. Avoid enemies and navigate the Splatlands in style with your own high-end sensor. Dry clean only high-end sensor? You gotta learn everything about your gear. That's another battle-tested rule of the battlefield. Okay, we're still doing the rule of the battlefield thing. Um, I don't know what it meant by the sensor thing. What's the- Oh, we got a unique menu. That's cool. Camp cuddle. Okay, so this is just like a big tutorial area, and it looks like it leads down to something more substantial, maybe. It's a long way down, and one false step could send you over the edge. Yeah, that looks, uh, weird. I think this music is what they used for the uh, original trailer during the character customization. Box is locked. Okay, we're getting the key tutorial. I'm not used to holding ZL. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know keys work. Ink rails are still not bouncy like Splatoon 1. Unfortunate. Another vault. Okay, lockbox inside a vault. I see. So do you just always have a splashdown in single player now, I guess? Interesting. I mean, that's cool. I'd, I'd rather be here than in multiplayer. Oh. Oh. This is weird, but cool. Wait, what does that do for me? Oh, you need both ink rails. Okay, that's cool design, I guess. It's interesting how they did that. Okay, I see you. Cool. Nice. I like how they just like hold it up to the camera very like Seriously, I don't want to ruffle your tentacles any further than they've already been ruffled, but those fuzzy Octarians are freaking me out. I think we ought to consider calling some backup. Let me just fire up the old communicator. Check, check. This is Cuttlefish. Over. Do you copy? Hey, it's Marie. Oh, okay, this is this is cool. Agent Two here. Over. Wait, Gramps, is that you? Where are you? Agent One, this is Agent Two. Gramps has wandered off again. Over. Well, what are we waiting for, Agent Two? Let's go collect him. Roger that. Stay fresh. Did they just hang up on me? <laughs> Agents these days, am I right? So impatient. Oh. Oh, Octavio is already on the line. <laughs> okay, I actually like... I know these characters have existed for so long, but like, this is... I like that they're using them. I like that they're actually using them in interesting ways now. Like, Octavio talking after level three? Like, come on, this is... This is more story than we had before. It's enough to get me excited. Uh, Cuddle, I found you. <laughs> Dang, it, this whole thing's busted. Oh, well. Come on, let's go. Oh, another locker thing? Oh, I got uh, cards. Cool. I still have not played Table Turf Battle. That small part might be a goofball, but I'd follow its nose if I were you. Okay. Um, ooh, okay. It's getting a little nervous there. Yeah, I like that they're actually making it challenging. I was honestly a little nervous when I saw the Buzz the Ooze stuff, because, like, I guess it's like an actual, like, thing that bars your progression. From the gameplay they showed, it kind of just looked like you like threw the small fry and got rid of it and there wasn't really any like depth to it, but I guess there's at least like a reason for it to be there is because it blocks you off. I assume, you know, it'll get a lot less linear than this later on. What are they? Can we stop them? <laughs> Again with the simple level titles. 
This place is packed with Artarians. Take aim and take him out. Got lots of moving walls. All right. Oh, hello. Has everything through your special gauge is full. Okay. I don't really need the splashdown. I'm not going to use it on just two random guys. Maybe something bigger comes along. Oh. Okay, well, clearly I'm going to splash down here. No, nah, I'm not distracting him. It is interesting that they're just uh, using all the little buddy mechanics and not actually giving me a bomb yet. Looks pretty clear up ahead and that sets off my alarm bells. Yeah, yeah. They always like to do the ambush. Stay on your toes. There's always at least one more hiding out. That's a cuttlefish guarantee. Um, can I just squid surge up there? Okay, no. That does make it a little easier to ink though, I guess. Um, so I can distract them? Like a bomb? Oh yeah. There we go. That certainly makes things easier. Not that they were exactly hard before. There we go. That ought to be the last kettle, but do you see anything else that looks fishy around here? Um, yeah, well, there's a giant thing. Fuzzball Ahoy, confirmed with my own bulging eyes. Yeah, I, I got it. A thousand. Okay, well, that's basically all my eggs. I'm sure that's, I mean, obviously on purpose. Huh. Is this just like a big man hole now? <laughs> The real entrance to the story mode. Incoming! Someone's headed this way fast! Oh! Here's Octavio! Yo, okay. So the, yeah, this is right off the bat. Yahaha! <laughs> I finally found you, cuttlefish. My Octarian troops have gone missing. And I know you're behind it. Oh, I love that there's actual cutscenes. This is sick. <laughs> Or he blows, it's DJ Octavio. Up to your old tricks, eh? Give the great zapfish back. Agent 3, this dirty DJ is the headliner of the entire Octarian army. Take him out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the Splatoon 1 sound effect. It's, oh, 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 I'm about to drop my latest hit. I thought I would advance the text box, okay. Right on your smug little face. Octavok King L, what? <laughs> it's a remix of the Splatoon 1 final boss. Oh, it's I am Octavio. This is so I love this. Oh my god. What? Wait, this is so cool. Wait, bro. They're just <laughs> Oh my god, yes. The first boss is Octavia. I mean that's that's kind of what I thought might happen, but Okay, this is sick. I mean it's it's simple, but like the production value is just crazy compared to the other games. Look at this. And the remix. Oh my god, yes. Whoa, 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 okay, we're doing something weird. Hello. Uh, I got a splash down. Drill punch. Okay, okay. Oh, I can still shoot this. Oh, okay. I did not shoot it fast enough. I think it's funny that the Splatoon 2 final boss was so easy that they realized they could have it as the first boss of this game. Octavia fell out of his turntable. Okay, okay, yeah, we're doing this. Turn the tables on him. Nope. <laughs> Alright, what's phase 2 looking like? Think my beats suck, eh? Then you'll love this. Oh. Oh, he got a vacuum. Um, is it gonna be like the special? Okay, well, he just has it for now. Oh, he's using ink back. Oh, 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 shoot. He is sucking my ink up. Oh, God, I'm stupid. Okay, I didn't think he would do it right then. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, this is so cool already. This is the first boss in the game. I mean, this isn't hard, but it's like awesome. Um, oh, oh, little buddy. <laughs> oh my god. Can vacuum. This is. I love this so much. I love that he has like a full mech now, too. Oh, this is so cool. Alright, shoot it back. Hopefully, I'm not hurting Carlos. Keep your fishy junk out of my mech. It looks like a platypus bill when it goes to the front like that. It's weird. Alright, I'm stupid. Alright, I don't know what a buddy. I just know he's actually using like very uh bluish ink. I mean, I guess it still counts as purple. And we know Octavio can change his ink color. I mean, I guess that makes sense if all the other Octolings can, but he never has before. Octavio's out. Okay. Phase three, let's go. Now you made me mad. Oh, it's really steam now. Keep your guard up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it sent out a, a wave breaker shockwave. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I guess I could just uh, do this. Yep, that works. 
Welcome back, small fry. Don't get comfy. The effect of the dust swirling around is so cool, dude. I kind of like that they only let you ink this middle part. All right, here we go. Oh, every time. So sad. He's going to say it. Is he going to say it? Oh, he didn't say the line. He didn't say crossfade to black. Oh, he just actually blew up. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't even an ink explosion. That was like an actual fire explosion. Oh, this is how we fall into Alterna, isn't it? I bet that's what's going to happen. Oh, yeah, okay. We're just pulling up. <laughs> no fair. Your gear is way too strong. But on a weak show, Octavio, your set list is getting old. Or maybe it's just you. Yeah, he's he's also like 130. Seriously, that was too easy. It's like you weren't even using the Great Zapfish's power. Mute it, fool. I didn't even steal the Great Zapfish this time. Well, uh, you did it? But if it wasn't you, then who was it? Oh, 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 I don't like that. That's creepy. Oh, oh, ew. Oh, that's really gross and weird. Oh. Oh, there we go. Agent 3, help me. Oh, oh, okay. The sound, oh, I don't like those sounds. That sound is creepy. Oh, this is, that's kind of gross. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Oh, oh, deep cut. They're right here. Hello. Wait, wait, are they like evil? Did, are they like using the fuzzy? I, I like, I thought we might like fight them or something at some point, but I didn't think they would be like doing that. I didn't think they were in charge of the fuzzy use. Nintendo presents. Oh, okay. We're doing this. Yeah, we actually, we get a separate present screen for the story mode. Oh, oh hell yeah. Oh, 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 that's like, yeah, I mean, that was in the trailer. I didn't think that would be in the real game. Okay, Splatoon 3. There we go, the title drop. I see them, I see them, I see, oh, I see Agent 3. Oh, they made the, they made the ponytail stick out. That was very important. That was very important. In in Splatoon 2, the Inkling Boy ponytail didn't stick out of the captain's hat and it looked really bad. Oh my god, my gun is tiny. Wait, oh, this is just like a whole area. Oh, I got I got the outfit. I got the cool outfit. Because the jacket came off. Dude, this is so cool. This is I'm gonna just literally take 10 years to walk around here. Oh, footprints. How do you shoot ink on snow, by the way? I mean, I guess that would make sense, but like it's wouldn't it like melt? I guess the ink isn't warm. I don't know. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Callie. Hello, Callie. I'm coming. Oh, here we go. Agent 3, over here. Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Yo, there he is. Oh, it's the... It's a remix of City of Color. Oh, I love this. You are Agent 3, right? Grimms fully enlisted you in your small fry? Yeah, I knew it. I see the look in your eyes that he's always looking for. Well, it's nice to meet you. I guess we should introduce ourselves. I'm Agent 1 of the new Squid Beaks Platoon. Hey, I'm Agent 2. Come on, Agent 2, get pumped. <laughs> anyway, one last crew member to introduce. This is our captain. Where? The new, new Squid Beaks Platoon. Why is it the new, new? Oh. <laughs> anyway, it looks like you and Gramps got separated in that fall. This place is huge, and it's filled with that horrible fuzzy ooze stuff. And now we have to find Gramps before he, like, tastes it or something. Aw, oh, you make it sound like it's not gonna be fun. But seriously, please help us look for Gramps. So, uh... Oh, they're in. Probably just too excited about looking for someone else's grandpa to speak. So Gramps reeled in a new Agent 3. Glad to have you. We've never been here before either, but here's the tour anyway. We think this place is called Alterna. Who knew it was beneath the crater this whole time? We count six different- six different islands? I heard somewhere there were six areas, but I guess I assumed the first- the tutorial thing I just did would count as one, so now there's- there's more levels than before. I, I think I heard that too. Okay, anyway. What should we call them? Sites or something? Uh, are you even gonna mention the humongous rocket over there? Look at that. I am- I am looking. Way to steal my thunder. Anyway, we put a tracking device on Gramps, as one does. <laughs> they chipped him? They put a microchip? <laughs> but now we're getting a strong signal from three different areas. Agent 3, your mission is to check all three of those places out. We upgrade your map a little bit. Tell us how much you love it. Future Utopia Island? Oh, we are getting human lore. We are getting human lore. Now it tracks the places you've already visited and lights up when you're near anything interesting. 
like when I'm nearby, or very treasure, I guess. We're here to look for Gramps, not treasure. And I hardly think Agent 3 needs a Cali tracker. <laughs> anyway, I'm s the writing is like so cheesy, but I just love Splatoon so much. I'm into it. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, Agent 3 is totally out of power eggs. Did you lose them all in the fall? Yikes, their hero suit is all messed up too. We got- wait, yo, we got like a whole upgrade tree in Splatoon? Oh, oh, I am going to enjoy this. <laughs> oh, don't be dramatic. I mean, sure, Agent 3 will have to collect power eggs and upgrade from scratch. Hmm, I guess an explanation would help. First, they'll need Sardinium to unlock access. Okay, that's back. Then they can spend- oh, upgrade- there's like skill points? Okay. So it's not power eggs anymore. Power eggs are for progression, like physically, through the ooze. And you need upgrade points for weapons. Okay. Wait, did you tell Agent 3 how to actually get upgrade points? No, I'm on it. Agent 3, just ink lots of stuff and find items. I guess it isn't rocket science, which is a shame because it seems like we might need some rocket science. Never mind that for now. I'm getting a strong Gramps-like signal from the next side over. Go check it out. What is a Gramps-like signal? This reminds me of when they, the Toad said they detected signs of Luigi in the ghostly galaxy in Mario Galaxy. What what are signs of Luigi? What are Gramps signals? I need to know. These are these are the answers I'm looking for. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna do this in like episodes. They'll be edited down, but uh, I guess I'll probably end the first one here. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more from me, you can follow my Twitch for streams or my Twitter for art. But with that, this has been Cosmic. Farewell.